Welcome back to the channel, Hobby One Kenobi here. The M54 has received a solid base coat of green. This green is my own mix of Tamiya paints, starting with XF81 Dark Green. Next I began to airbrush the Field Drab color, but quickly realized I had picked up the wrong bottle. The correct mixture is now applied over the old spots, and I continued adding camo patterns quite freely. However, I did collect information from many different photographs to create a basic template to follow. Initially, these larger spots of camo were often sprayed on, while the two less frequent colors, black and tan, would commonly be brushed on. I found many photos, however, that showed all four colors being sprayed. This is the look that I will go for on this vehicle. At this point, I am not worried about shapes, nor am I concerned with getting a sharper edge. All of that will come later. It is a good idea to spray from different angles if working around details. The railing along the side of the truck bed is a place where paint coverage can be lacking. The tarp will be painted after all of the camo and washes has been applied, and maybe even a few steps after that. Handling of this model will continue as wheels and windows are put into place, and I would like to ensure that the tarp is free of fingerprints and other unintentional weathering effects. Now I start to create shapes. Viewing photos of this particular Murdoch camo will reveal some simple patterns. I find that the light tan and black colors are often placed along the demarcation of the green and brown, and will cling to the curves and peninsulas of these colors. Now it's time to go back to the green color and start to create a sharper edge. This is done by getting the paint to be thinner and spraying back onto the base color, but from a different angle. Since I am depicting this camo as if it were sprayed on, I will not need to reduce the softness much more than this. Next I sprayed the light tan and black. My airbrush was acting up, so the overspray is a bit heavier than I intended, but again I will go back to each color to get just the right amount of sharpness to the edges.
Well, that does it for this video. I do hope that this video was helpful for you. And in the next one, I will apply a gloss coat, then add a few decals, then begin a wash. Thanks again for watching. Bye.